Hello, this is Mikey. This is in response to Mike H's question about how to remove the ice maker. So, this is a follow-up video to the video I did on repairing an ice maker. So, we'll get into it. You don't have to pull the whole ice maker out as I did in the last video, but hindsight is kind of 2020. So, As you can see, lots of ice, it's working. So we're just gonna go ahead and come in here and let me just get my light on. We're just gonna come in here and turn this off. So if this, is, if this button is not on, that needs to be on for your ice maker to work. You should have a, there should be a red LED on the side there. So it's on right now, I don't know if you can see that, and then it's off. Another thing is this arm can jam, preventing ice from coming out. So let's go ahead and see if we can get this out without removing the whole ice maker. right here just a word of caution I am doing this with my fridge plugged in you probably don't want to do this with your fridge plugged in but I will be so if we get it down we can see that screw right there that needs to get undone so I will get back to you when that is undone. Okay, this upper screw's out. All I had to do was just kind of pull this down, flex it down to get that upper Phillips out. And coming down to the bottom here, there's a little tab right here. I've got a, a blade bit. Come in here, pop that out. And then this cover can come right off. So once again, if you just kind of flex it down, pull it out, and this cover should come right off. Cover's off. So you don't have to remove the whole ice maker as I did in my video. I didn't know that. So coming in here, let me get my light on again. Hopefully it doesn't get super washed out. Okay, so this was the magnet that was missing. This is the magnet that was actually sitting right on top of here. So I put that magnet back in, and that magnet there is actually for your arm. So if your arm is up, it's telling you that when that magnet hits that sensor, it's telling you don't make any, or it's telling the, the ice maker don't make any more ice. When the magnet is on it, then it's saying make ice. Because my magnet was sitting on top of here, it was saying don't make ice. There is a second magnet right in here on that gear. So you need to make sure that that magnet is in. And then as I said in my previous videos, or video, I also checked the water sensor on the back of the fridge as well. I did that by... Um, there's two solenoids on the back and I switched the water solenoid and the ice solenoid oops don't want to do that switch the water solenoid and the ice solenoid um, the connectors on the back they both look the same and the connectors fit in and then I had someone come up here and hit the water and I could hear the water going through my ice maker 
solenoid, so I knew that was fine. Um, yeah, so this is just a quick video. Uh, this is shot on my new camera, so all the new videos I'll be doing will be on the camera. Hopefully the quality is a little bit better. I still have about four or five videos that I uh, used my phone on, so I'll be trying to get those edited and put up. Well, um, if I do any more projects, I'll try and bring you along for, for the ride. See you later.